Outside. Outside. A rueful smile between both the players as they both are outside the bullseye on the their opening throw. 25. Roger going to give me here on Ross hitting the 25 here. Outside. Just outside, Simon so it will be Simon who will lead us off. Simon to throw first. In this race to six with Stephen Bunting awaiting the winner. He's just dispatched John Henderson by six legs to nil. 45. We're locked 29 in the world. Hasn't won a PDC title in five years. But woke up this 85. season. 85. In the summertime. One hundred and thirty-four to renew past glories. Ross Montgomery. One hundred and forty. A renewal for the boss, who's seeming to be enjoying life on the uh, PDC tour. Fifty-eight. One of the elder statesmen of the players that we have here in Barnsley. The ripe old age of 60. 41. One hundred and forty. Good turn forty there for Simon Whitlock to get him stamp down to a finish at one two four. But the boss. 130. Good response. It comes up down to a two data. Whitlock first crack though. 1 2 4. 14 for the ball. Treble. He's staying there. Double two. Oh, a 1 2 4 to start for Simon Whitlock. Great start for the Australian. An orthodox route, but it worked nonetheless. 85. And all the same. As Whitlock leads in this race to six. 97. 76. Any more matches to come? We will be here on 81. stream number one. We'll be following Martin Schindler. We'll be on next with against Danny Baggish. That'll be our next match here on this stream. 42. I'll keep you abreast of the scores that are taking place right now. 99. And the seed going out, Ricky Evans has lost 6-1 to, to Jason Van der Velde. 100. And a few games that are quite close right now. Josh Rock has just advanced into the last 64. A 6-4 win over Andy Bolton. 100. And Vincent van der Voort leading 5-2 over Ryan Joyce right now. Maddis Razma 5-2 ahead on Keegan Brown. 56. Um, in fact, Madden's Rasmus has just advanced. Win 6 2. Whitlock, in the meantime, looking to double his advantage. 56. Mm, Ross, a shake of the head, says it all there. 78. 78 gets him down to a two data, but Whitlock. For the break of throw. 16 leaves the double. 36. So Ross Montgomery looking to get down to a double. He'll have two darts here at double eight. Double four for level game. Game shot. 
And Ross Montgomery holds throw. Whitlock to start in the third. One hundred and forty. Starting out with a ton forty. His second of the tie. Good cover from Ross Montgomery. Thirty-four. And a shake of the head there from Whitlock says 25. it all. Twenty-five. The visit he'll be looking for. So Montgomery here. Maybe just maybe trying to steal the throw in this leg. Especially with that big score and gets one. Good visits from the Scotsman. Fifty-eight. But Montgomery with the advantage in this third leg. After a couple of lackluster visits from Simon Whitlock. Can capitalise though, and again, shake of the head from, Ro from Ross. We've seen this many times before. 37. And that's not the cover he was looking for. 58. Good last dart. Get himself down to that two darter, but Whitlock first of all. Looking for a response at 220. And Max here, the left double top. He'll take a 140. 100. Still an even ton. To leave the Shanghai finish. Oh, Ross, what are you doing? 75 now, where do you go from here? It went the bullseye route. 17 would leave, oh, hello. 49. Yeah, I think he's miscounted there, definitely. It'll be 41, so, but Shanghai coming in for Whitlock. This is only for a holder throw. I don't... Is it in? It was in. 100. So Montgomery. Single one. Tops for the break. Game and a break of throw it is for the boss. Well, he went around the houses, took a left at the traffic lights, but eventually got over the line. And has a break of throw here, throwing for a two-leg lead here in the fourth. One hundred. Well, both players really settling into this tie. They're not exactly pulling up trees on the averages. Both in the mid-80s. Fifty-eight. Compared to our previous match with Stephen Bunting, it's, he seems to have uh, dinner reservations or something. He dispatching John Henderson 6 0. In fantastic form, averaging just under 110. 100. I think it was 108 in the end for Bunting. Whitlock. 135. Just sliding into the trouble five. It's still a good visit, though, from the Australian. One hundred and forty. A good ton forty there from the boss. Whitlock on the eighteenth. Now back upstairs. And then back to the eighteenth. So two visits here for Ross Montgomery. Now he knows Whitlock's not on a finish, so he may just stay there to try and set this up. Eighty-seven. An awkward last dart though. Gets himself down to a two dart on 74. Whitlock, though, can pressurise it with a strong visit here. You'd like another one of them. 100. 74 for the boss. Trouble 14. His first target. 20. For the double top. 34. Well, Whitlock's taken out a 1 2 4 so far today. And we may take out 116, double 18. 98. Just inside. So this for the two-leg advantage for the boss. And two-leg advantage it is. Three on the spin for Ross Montgomery in only 3-1. 99.
140. Well, look, still seeking the first maximum of this tie. Either player has yet to hit a 180. But it's Ross Montgomery who's leading here by three legs to one. This race to six with Stephen Bunting awaiting the winner. 60. One hundred and forty. Another seed has uh, tumbled out. Uh, Eddie Lovely has taken out uh, Robbie John Rodriguez, I should say. And Ryan Meekler did so well yesterday. 44. He's also out of the competition, losing to Germany's Ricardo Petrezco. One hundred. 're locked down to a three dart finish after nine darts here so likely it is to 55. hold his throw but Ross Montgomery all you'll be thinking now hold your throw and you're through trouble 13 double 16 game wonderful or one two one to go along with the one two four from the first leg Whitlock reduces the deficit to a single leg three two now Twenty six. So Whitlock now. One hundred and forty. Trying to build on the hold of throw to find that break. That Ross secured in the third leg. One hundred and thirty four. Good cover there from Ross Montgomery. Gets himself back in the leg. Whitlock. Trying to extend his advantage here. 58. Now we can close back to parity here, especially if Ross can find a, a strong visit here. A loose second one, though. And a loose 30. third. 58. Oh, wow. 10. Not the visit Simon Whitlock would have been looking for. And a shake of the head from the Australian as he goes back to behind the hockey. 43. And only 43 scored there for Ross Montgomery, who can't really capitalise. Whitlock going downstairs at 293. He's staying there. 95. Gets himself under 200, so Montgomery starting on the 18s and staying on the 18s. 126. Gets himself down to a finish. 58. Has been very pedestrian this sixth leg for both these players. 63 scored, down for trouble 19. 120. To leave himself double 11. Whitlock now, 140. It's on. That's unlucky. 80. Double 11 from Montgomery. Single three now for double four. One dart, double four for a holder throw. 14. So Whitlock for the break back. Two darts. Tops the target. Tens. Game shot. And now we have a level game. Back to back legs for Simon Whitlock. Gets the break back and a rueful smile between the pair. I think both of them know that they're not exactly pulling up trees in this game. And you can see what the averages. That's indeed the case. There. 79. Very really loose with their with their arrows. In the last couple of legs. Whitlock winning that sixth leg in 21 41. darts, and I think two of them were on the floor. So realistically, he did it in 19. 86. One 
100. So this race to six with the prize being Stephen Bunting in the last 64. 96. One hundred. Still look, try, awaiting the first max of this match. Seventy-six. Whitlock gets himself down to a finish. Ross needs to find one treble here. Does have the opportunity. Needs a treble. Doesn't 60. get one. So Whitlock. Two visits at 164. 44 scored. 104. Good last eye as well to leave an even 60. Montgomery can only pressurise. He may need a couple of trebles to do that. There's one of them. There's two of them. How about a third? That's the first max of this tie. But Whitlock to go three on the spin. And that could be an awkward lie. He's got to throw this one from Rotherham. Now going across the hockey. Two tens. Game shot. And that is three legs on the spin for Simon Whitlock. And now two away from victory. 4-3. In this battle. Between the pair. Ross Montgomery is at 1-180 in his last visit. One hundred and Nearly hit a second. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven scored there from Whitlock to try and hang on Ross's coattails in this leg. The boss. Try and hold his throw. Whitlock. Whoa. Back in the leg. With a bounce. His first maximum. That's going to give Ross Montgomery something to think about here. Whitlock takes this leg. He'll be thrown for the match. 85. 2-2-4. That's got rid of 60 of it. That's got rid of another 60 of it. Whoa, and that's got rid of another 60 of it. Down to 44. Whitlock, big favourite now for a break of throw. Credit to Ross Montgomery. 136. To give the Australian something to think about. 44 coming in. Single 12. Two dart at 16s. One dart at 8s. Game shot. And it's in right in the corner, but it counts nonetheless. Two up with three to play, and Whitlock throwing for a place in the second round. So Ross Montgomery is going to come out swinging here in these last couple of legs. Needs to try and get that break back straight away. 100. He's got to go three on the spin. Whitlock has already done four on the spin. Three one down in this match was the Australian. 43. In what has been a very workmanlike performance. One hundred. So the world number twenty nine. Seeking that date with Stephen Bunting. Eighty five. One hundred. So an even ton. From Ross Montgomery who's and quite methodical in this leg, averaging 100 for his three throws. 140. A ton 40 from Whitlock. Gets himself back in the leg, but Ross, the boss here, can give himself the opportunity to find that break. Needs to find a trouble to do 100. so, and does so, so he'll have a, a go at 101. 
We'll look on the 19s. He'll stay there. 133. Superb from Simon Whitlock to leave tops. 101. It's an opportunity for the boss. Single one or the nine. Single one. It is in just about. Tops he wants. Tops he gets. And Ross, the boss, strikes back. Now one down with two to play and has the darts in the 10th. Forty-one. Well, we have seen some three down-out shots from both players. A one-two-four and a one-two-one from Whitlock. One hundred. And that one-on-one from Ross Montgomery. The averages, though, run at the ninety mark for Simon and then in the mid-eighties for for Ross at the minute. But he's still in the contest here. 57. Now what would Ross want here for a couple of trebles? Well, there's one of them. 100. That's unlucky. That was a decent lie there to get us a third one, a third dart in the treble 20. But we're locked now. Using his professionalism here and his, ex his experience. He's down to one, two, four after nine, and Ross the boss needs a max here to get down to a finish. And he may just do that. May just do that and does so. 180. One, two, four for Whitlock, though. This for the tie. Treble 18. 56. That's the 56 to leave himself a two dart. And Montgomery, 140. To take it to a decide, that's unlucky. That is unlucky, just sliding into the trouble five. Can only pressurise now. He will stay there. He went for the bullseye. 36. Oh, that's, a, that's the last dart, he didn't want the one. So Whitlock. On the 14s, interestingly. He wants another one of them for tops. 48. Well, 101 in the last length for Ross Montgomery. He's going to need a 104 here to take it to a decider. Now he's got to find the trouble first of all. 84, can he get one over? He can. Two 12s to take it to a decider. 92. Unlucky. And Whitlock and finally gets over the line at what seemed to be a marathon battle between the pair. But it's the Australian who will advance to set up a second round tie with Stephen Bunting. Simon Whitlock defeats Ross Montgomery.